Hello my soccer universe, this start of the season does not go well for my teams. I gotta say Milan losing 2-1 at newly promoted Parma and I have to say in the transition game when they were caught on a counter attack going back it just did not look well for them at all. That seemingly the assignments did not work, they didn't know what to do and so going down after 90 seconds was almost a logical consequence and it could have gotten even worse. There were plenty of opportunities for Parma to actually add a second and a third already in the first half. Yes, there were a few headers by Pavlovic, but you know, it was all more random stuff. Second half, Milan was a whole lot more convincing, created a few chances, they hit the crossbar after a Randa's shot who got slightly deflected. A brilliant goal, to be honest. Leao with Theo, back to Leao, back to Pulisic, and he taps it into the goal. And at that moment, I thought, yes, now you got the momentum. And then Fonseca almost kills it with bringing on Emerson Royale and Fofana. Newly acquired players who are not fit, I guess, for the squad yet. And... There were no more chances there, and then you get caught on a counter attack because Theo, I think, loses the ball. Cancellieri makes it 2 1, and there is only a minor chance to equalize again. And yeah, bad start for Milan. Only one point from the first two games. More has to come from them. That much is for certain. Well, Milan were not the only team suffering an upset this round. At the same time as Milan lost to Parma, Lazio got beaten by Udinese 2-1. Udinese having actually a two-goal lead through Luca and Tovin early in the second half already. Then Udinese went down a man. Lazio had then a few chances, but only a very, very late one to pull one back. Meanwhile, Inter got a very unforced 2-0 win over Lecce. Darmian scoring early on. You thought there might be another route for Lecce in the cards. However, it was only a Chalonoglu penalty that added to the scoreline, but it could have been more if Inter would have won it. Fiorentina also are not getting really rolling. Only a nil-nil at home to Venezia and at the same time Torino upset Atalanta in what was probably the best game of the round. Retegi actually gave Atalanta the lead. Again, him scoring. Great signing by Atalanta. However, Illich then quickly equalized in the 31st minute. The game went then up and down. In the end, it's Shea Adams who actually taps in the rebound of a save to make it 2-1 and then Atalanta tried to get back. I think the Catalara hit the post. They even got a penalty that Pasalic sees saved by Milinkovic Savic and so Torino get a huge upset and might be one of those teams to watch this season. Well, if you were hoping for another upset for Napoli, no, this did not happen this time. Napoli actually convinced Quaraschelia really taking the game onto himself. New father, of course. He was irresistible. He already had a great header that just hit the extension of the goal. Then he assisted with a, with a wonderful 1-2 between him and Di Lorenzo. The first goal was 1-0 for Napoli at the halftime. He himself gets the second one and then he's also involved in the third one where Simeone then late on taps it in. Napoli level on goal difference, that was the most important. However, at the same time, we got another upset. Empoli going to the Olympico and beating Roma 2-1 early on. Empoli should have already taken the lead. They get the lead just before halftime through Jersey. Then a very, very stupid penalty given away by Paredes and Colombo converts it to make it 2-0. Just before that, Roma in one action hit twice the woodwork. Late on, Schmurdorf gets a goal back and then they again hit the post, I think, through Dybala, who still is with Roma. And probably the best form at the moment has to be Juventus, who just steamrolled an Elas Verona team that just had disposed Napoli 3-0. Yes, maybe it was a little bit more of a lopsided result than it needed to be. However, this time Vlahovic was on target, giving Juventus a 1-0 lead. Savona, from the own academy, shortly thereafter adds a second one, and then the Vlahovic uh, penalty completes the route for Verona. Now, going into the next round, we have three really outstanding games. We have on Friday evening Inter against Atalanta. Then on Saturday evening, we have Lazio against Milan. And it is rounded out on Sunday evening by Juve against Roma. If you're a fan of Serie A, those are all three standout ties. Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!